Hello friends, this video in probability part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Gopi buys a fish from a shop for his aquarium. The shopkeeper takes out one fish at random on the tank which contains 5 male fish and 8 female fish. We have to find the probability that the fish taken out is male fish. So this is the aquarium and shopkeeper takes out one fish from this. So if you see male fish is 5 and female is 8. Total there are 13 fish. We have to find the probability of male fish because when you take out the fish it may be male or female. So we define that as male. This is also favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome? For male it is 5, so it is 5. Total outcome is total number of fish is 13, so it is 13. So the probability of fish to be male is 5 by 13. Very simple. You have male fish, we have female fish. The, uh, the favorable outcome for male is 5 and total number of outcome is 5 plus 8 that is 13. Let's take one more example. A game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which comes to rest pointing at one of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and these are equally likely outcomes. What is the probability that it will point at 8 odd number, number greater than 2 and number less than 2. So, this is an example of a hit game where you have this board and there is an arrow. You take this arrow and hit it. It may hit at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We don't know. It may hit anywhere. And all are equally likely. Because the person who is hitting it, he is not trying to hit only a particular point. He is just randomly throwing an arrow. The first thing is, what is the probability that it is 8? So, it can hit at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8, any other number. Correct? Because he is hitting randomly. So, there are 8 possible outcomes. Because it may hit at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we don't know. It is equal likely and it is random. So, 8 possible outcomes. So, probability of 8 is what? Favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome? 8. And there is only one chance that it will get 8. And total outcome is 8. So, 1 by 8 is a probability of 8. One part is solved. Probability that it is odd number. It is odd number. How many odd number? 1, 3, 5, 7. So, there are 4 odd numbers. Correct. So, again here also same formula. Favorite, uh, favorable outcome by total outcome. So, this becomes favorable outcome is what? 4. Total outcome is 8. 4 by 8 that is 1 by 2. Then, what is the third one? Number greater than 2. So, probability of number greater than 2. How many numbers greater than 2? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 6 numbers that are greater than 2. Same formula. Favorable outcome by total outcome. Favorable outcome is what? 6. Total outcome is 8. 6 by 8. That is 3 by 4. This is my answer. This part is also solved number less than 9. So, if you see all the numbers are less than 9. You see here also probability number less than 9. Same formula you will use favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome? Number less than 9? 8 numbers. Any number is less than 9. Total outcome is also 8 that becomes 1. It is a sure shot even that the number will be less than 9. Very simple. Just use the formula. Probability is nothing but favorable outcome by total outcome. One more question. A die is thrown. Find the probability of getting prime number, line number between 2 and 6 and odd number. So this is my die. It has number from 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This guy is thrown and we have to find that the probability is prime number. The number is prime number. So let us again write this here. Probability of prime is nothing but favorable outcome by total outcome. 
Total outcome is how many? Six, because there are six possible outcomes. Six. Favorable outcome, we are talking about prime numbers. So this is two is prime, three is prime, and five is prime. There are three prime numbers. So I'll put three here. So this becomes one by two. So probability of prime number is one by two. probability of number lying between two and six. Between two and six. So between two and six. How many numbers are there? If you found the number there between 2 and 6 is 3, 4 and 5. There are 3 numbers that are between 2 and 6. Same formula here. Favorable outcome by total outcome. Favorable outcome is 3 because there are 3 numbers between 3 and 6 and total outcome is 6. Total number of items is 6. So 1 by 2. This part is also solved. Third is probability of odd number. Here also same formula, favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome? Odd number, let me uh, mark odd number, 1 is odd number, 3 is odd number and 5 is odd number. So there are 3 odd numbers actually. And total outcome is we know is 6, 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2. So if you see in all this the probability came out to be 1 by 2. If you are talking about the prime number probability, probability of odd number or probability of number 2 and 6, you get 1 by 2. Let's take one more question. This is a card problem. 5 card. 10, Jack, King, Queen, King and Ace of Diamonds. All diamonds are well stuffed with their face card down. One card is picked. What is the probability that the card is Queen? Total number of cards are 5 only. That is 10, Jack, Queen, King and Ace. They are only 5 cards. The first question says find the probability of queen card. So from this we'll use same formula here that is a favorable number or favorable output by total output, total, total event output, right? Outcome. What is the favorable outcome? Favorable outcome for queen is one because there's only one queen. And what is the total number of outcome? Five. Why? Because there are five number of cards. So probability of queen is 1 by 5. Problem solved. Second question is a little tricky. Please note. If the queen is drawn and put aside, that means this guy is gone now. Queen is taken out from this card stack and kept aside. It is not mixed in the stuff pack. It is kept aside. Now we, have, now we are left with now 10, J, K and A. Correct? That means we have 4 cards now. Now from this Four card, a second card is drawn. That means one more from this one card is drawn. We have to find the probability that it is ace. Again, same formula, probability of ace. That is nothing but favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the favorable outcome for ace? There is only one ace, so one. Total number of card, four. Four, so one there. Please note the trick here is since the card from this pack of five card one queen is removed now now it has only four cards so we are using four here now we are not using five here please note this this little tricky here from this stuff of five card we took out one card queen card and now we are left with only four cards that is 10 j k and a and now from these four cards we are asked to take out an ace and we have to find the probability the second is we have to find the queen you have to take out we need to find the probability that the second card is queen. Here also again we will use the same formula. Favorable outcome by total outcome. Now in this we will see this stack only because we are talking about the second card. So in this there is no queen if you see. There is no queen. Queen is already out. So favorable outcome is 0 and total outcome is 4. So the probability that the second card is queen is 0. Probability that the second card is ace is 1 by Probability of the first card is queen is 1 by 5. Correct. Please note these are probability for the second card. And this is the probability for the first card. So we will take in this case the first card will take this stack which has 5 card. For the second card we will assume that this card is not there. We will create a new stack with the 4 card and then we will create the or we will find the probabilities. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests.
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.